So let me quickly go to time and then my time. And I believe that most of you are quite familiar with this screen right here because it shows you your complete work week, uh, also including the non-working days and the weekends. So to track time here, the only thing that I have to do is first select a project. Let's say it's this one and select a service that I want to work on. And now I can either start the timer, which will then start ticking which means that when I'm finished with my work, I can, I can just stop the timer and it will record how much time have I spent working on this particular service. The second thing that I can also do is switch to the manual mode where I can add time manually. So obviously I can type in that I worked on this service for let's say one hour or I worked for on this service from let's say nine up until 12. So that's three hours in total. The same thing will apply if you use the timer in the main navigation. You will see the complete, the completely same screen here, really. The only difference is that here I can track time just for this particular day or for today, whereas here I can track time for the entire week. Now, let's take a look at those bars here. So these bars uh, represent um, bookings and scheduling. So. Let's say that uh, my time was allocated to a certain service and scheduling. Here I can actually see what that particular service was. So I can either start a timer or if I want to track time manually, I can just click on the name of the time entry and then it will, this booking suggestion will actually track how much time was booked in scheduling. It will uh, apply that right here to time tracking. Now, um, let's move to a different uh, method, which is the timesheet view. This is a view that I would use if you have like a lot of projects, a lot of services, and you're probably not sure um, where to track time. So in this view, I would create a grid just by clicking on add project, and then again, add service that I want to work on, and then it will land here in this grid. So to add time here, I would just click on the day that I'm in or perhaps the previous day or the day after it, and then just look for, for the service that I want to uh, work at. So let's take a look at perhaps office management and let me record 30 minutes for office management. Um, again, this is really useful if you have a lot of projects and a lot of services. Myself, I'm working at mostly one service, so I would probably use the, the day view. Here, you also have the buttons for time tracking suggestions. And let's take a look at pin perhaps. So I can pin the items that I would use the most. So let's say uh, those are these three. And if I click on pinned, a small blue dot appears saying that I've manually pinned those items to the top. If I were to turn on scheduled, this will actually show me all the projects that I was scheduled to. And in this instance, it's this one. And I can see that by this pink dot. Let me take a look at recent. Now this will obviously show me all of the services that I've tracked time against recently. So um, here I've tracked time re recently on this project and this project as well. So it has like this pale yellow dot uh, next to it.